Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Data. So it's great to see another green day today. Um, hopefully this stays through the end of the day. So we'll just keep an eye on that and that'll give us more bullish sentiment moving forward. But looking at Bitcoin, we can just see uh, this inverse head and shoulders pattern I drew. Uh, it is playing out well. It looks like we're having some consolidation right now around that $8,100 level. Uh, there is some resistance at about 8,300 to 8,500. And then from there, uh, the next big resistance is around 9,500. So just keep an eye on those two levels as we approach a $10,000 level uh, moving forward. But basically, I just want to cover some altcoins that I've been looking at and some that I'm comfortable with. Um, just going to mention a few important dates for them and exactly why um, I'm so bullish on them. So one of the first coins is um, Ethereum. So, you know, Ethereum is one of those coins that perform really well during the downturn. Um, when Bitcoin was declining, Ethereum was holding a lot of the gains. So I definitely see it being a strong performer moving forward, as well as, you know, being used in a lot of ICOs and as the uh, as the platform for a lot of ICOs. So I see that as being very bullish. I see Litecoin as being very bullish. Um, they have LitePay that is launching, you know, very soon. Um, basically, it lets companies pay with uh, like convert Litecoin to USD um, pretty much anywhere in the world so they can accept uh, Litecoin as payment. So it's, it's an app and um, I believe it's going to really, really, um, you know, boost Litecoin and kind of have it more um, to businesses and uh, you know, the mainstream um, just like BitPay was. So um, I'm really bullish on that and it's had a nice run. Um, I believe when that announcement was made about LightPay, it went up over 30%. So definitely keep an eye on Litecoin. Another one is NEO. Um, NEO has performed very, very well. Uh, I believe I believe yesterday it was probably like 40 or 50% up. So it's one of those coins that, you know, it's kind of like the Ethereum of China, so to speak. Um, a lot of ICOs use the NEO blockchain and a lot of those ICOs on the NEO blockchain, like Deep Brain Chain, a couple others, whenever they add their ICO, I mean, they went up, you know, 600 to 1000%. So it's definitely a great uh, coin to look at and uh, definitely keep NEO in your cross check when you are buying certain altcoins. And a couple others to look at. Uh, so Lisk is another one. Lisk actually has a rebranding coming up. Uh, there's an event on Crypto Calendar and the rebranding is February 20th, so in 13 days. So as you know, everyone loves a good rebrand. So expect another price hike and a price run up as we get closer to that February 20th date. And I believe we'll see a lot more returns with Lisk. And talking about rebranding, VeChain. So VeChain is actually rebranding on the 26th. So this is from their tweet, they're rebranding on February 26th. They're gonna rebrand to VeChain Thor. And VeChain has already had a lot of government partnerships and they already have, you know, it's a great company and technology backing them. So I believe VeChain is gonna see another good run up. Um, it's had another good run up already. So it's one of those stronger altcoins as well that holds its value very well. So definitely keep an eye on VeChain. A lot of people talking about that one. And then moving down, uh, one of the other coins I've always been bullish on is Dragon Chain. So Dragon Chain again, it I believe it went to a low of around uh, 90 cents, and then it you know bounced back up here to 166. This is one of those coins again that I'm very long term bullish on. I can see this being ten dollars by the end of the year. Um, it's basically they have a lot of startup you know, incubator projects for different companies. Uh, they have a lot of startup ICOs for different companies. And their latest one that they're gonna do is called Metropolis. A lot of people are bullish on this. And the big thing with Dragon Chain ICOs, one, you get a discount if you hold Dragon Chain tokens. And two, uh, you're able to invest if you do live in the United States. So I know a lot of ICOs, you can't invest if you're in the US, but for Dragon Chain, you can. So just another reason why I'm bullish on it. And then another coin is Z Classic. So Z Classic, basically, uh, they're the ones doing the hard fork for Bitcoin Private. So basically, Z Classic is an anonymous coin, privacy coin. Um, Bitcoin Private is going to be the same way. So Z Classic actually announced their uh, hard fork date of Bitcoin and ZCL is going to be on February 28th. So at the end of this month. So again, right now it's at great prices. It's only at $93. Uh, this coin was you know well over $200 just a month ago. So. It's great to see that you know it is cheap prices right now, and I do believe we're going to see this run up over 200 again as we approach the end of February. And then when Bitcoin private forks, uh, make sure you have your Z Classic in a compatible wallet. So if you go to their Twitter, they'll show you compatible wallets to hold Z Classic in if exchanges don't support the hard fork. But I believe Bitcoin private, uh, the price range for that is around $300 per coin uh, that people are predicting. So you're going to get a one-to-one -one if you hold one Z Classic, you get one Bitcoin private. So. 
And then with that, I think those were the coins I was looking at. So again, those are the coins that I'm most bullish on. Um, I see those as the safest investments and your best chance for high returns. Um, now, just a couple other coins that I've seen some YouTubers talk about on Twitter and a couple of other places. Um, I'm not as bullish on them, but again, I'll leave you all to do your own research if you want to invest in them or not. But one of those coins is actually uh, Icon, so ICX. So I've seen ICX talked about a lot of times. It's talked about with V Chain. Um, you know, I definitely see it as being a good investment. But um, again, just do your own research on this one. Uh, but I just see V Chain being talked about more. So um, if you want to invest in ICX, you know, go ahead. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But um, yeah, that's one I've been seeing people talk about. And then another one. Let me see. Uh, of course, there's also Digibyte. Um, I know. I know that the crypto hedge is really bullish on Digibyte, so you know it definitely has some potential moving forward. But um, you know, right now it's about three cents. Uh, earlier, you know, last month it was at I believe almost, uh, I believe it was like 13, 14 cents. So it does have a lot of potential. Um, so keep an eye on that one. You know, I mean, he's really bullish on it, and he's done a lot of technical analysis. So uh, it may be one to to keep an eye on. And then. Another one I believe people were looking at is uh, Funfair. So Funfair is one, uh, the modern investor, he actually did a YouTube video about it today. And uh, basically, apparently they, uh, they're they having like a lot of stuff in the works right now and they're not too much in the news. So um, he believes that Funfair you know, is gonna go up to possibly 70, 80, 90 cents, even a dollar by the end of this year. So um, check out his video. And um, you know, see what he talks about it. Basically, he's thinking that you know they have a lot of stuff under wraps, and uh, a lot of stuff will be released soon. And then, uh, last but not least, uh, I know a couple of YouTubers are talking about Power Ledger, and they have some big stuff coming in the works. So, um, you know, again, all just rumor mills. So I don't know, but um, yeah. And then you know, Aon. I know a couple people are bullish on Aon as well. A couple of big Twitter followers are bullish on that. So. But um, yeah, those are basically you know a lot of the altcoins. Um, you know the first, I believe the first six or seven I mentioned are the most bullish ones, and then the next, you know four or five I mentioned, those basically are just ones that I see a lot in the news, uh, or basically a lot in Twitter and YouTube. So just ones to look at, and uh, I just want to give you all you know kind of a rough overview of everything and where I'm at with my coins. Hopefully that gives y'all a better idea of where to put your money in this uh, you know reversal that we're currently having. So, um, you know, it's a good chance to get these cheap prices and again, just, um, you know, invest accordingly. So, um, again, you know, it's not financial advice, but it just, I thought I'd help you all out and kind of make things a little bit easier to sort through all the coins since there is so many. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please, if you did give it a like, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, comment if you have any questions and please subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Thanks for watching.